away from that. Uh, there is sufficient gas in the country to produce enough electricity to end the power crisis facing the country. But all that gas could just be flared or bent off because the thermal plant at Abuazi cannot receive and store it. Let's listen to the chief executive officer of the Ghana Gas Company, Dr. George Sipayanki. And it, it's unfortunate. We feel so, so, so happy after all the sweat and the toil. Because of this, you're not able to do that. So eventually, if this continues for a long time, you may have to ramp up post 150, supply the area with the 50 million, and then flare, flare 100 million cars of gas, uh, you know, per day. Meanwhile, the Volta River Authority says it is not responsible for any faulty plants and that plants under their care are working. It is the power generating firm Tico's plants that are not. Join News as George Riafe has been following the issue and he's here with me in the studio. Let's try and get some clarity on what this is all about. George, thanks for joining us here. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? Help us understand the issues around flaring of gas and getting gas from Motobo. Well, basically, the gas infrastructure project is a, um, a facility that actually takes gas uh, from the Ghibli operators, that is FPS, so it's brought to the sh onshore. They keep it and then they also export the gas to the power producers or the power generators like VRE. Now, what we understand is that on a daily basis, the gas infrastructure project can actually supply about 154 million standard cubic feet of gas mm. to the producers. But what we understand is that because the majority of the machines of VRE are not in good condition, they can't accept or take on all these guys that the via that is the Ghana guys can supply so as we speak right now they're just given about 54 million standard cubic feet of gas to VRE. Now, wait, what happens is that what happens to the rest, about 100 million mm. or a little over 100 million that they have, they could be compelled to give that gas away or mm. flare that gas because they can't supply that to mm. any of the producers out there. Mm. Now, what do we know about the plants that would, would have had gas from? Uh, from the from the Ghana Gas Company, which plants would they have been serving? The, the, the Abuazi one, we are told, mm -hmm. yeah, Abuazi thermal plant. And over the years, there have been some challenges about maintaining these plants and making sure that they are in good condition. But as we speak right now, some of them are not in good condition. And that is why uh, Ghana Gas can release all these gas to VRA or to these plants. And that is a huge, huge, huge problem uh, as we speak right now. And, and, and Abwaz is under VRA? Yes, of course. So, so it, 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 it really doesn't add up when the VRA says that it cannot be it, responsible it, it, for You know, they share some of these plants in terms of, there's always a thing line as mm. in who manages plant A, plant B, and plant C. You have Tico, you have the other independent power producers, and of course the Volta River Authority. So there's always a thin line between who manages this particular plant and the other plant. And that is why the Volta River Authority is making that argument that you can't blame us that we are the cause of this problem. We actually said that we can purchase this amount of gas, and that is what we are receiving. But when you also speak to the Ghana Gas Company, they argue that they got the commitment from VRA initially that we can take on those volumes of gas and that is why they also prepared to supply this to the VRA. Mm, I see. Now, can the VRA really take this gas or would probably have to look into flaring? Well, as we speak right now, they can't take on all the gas. But again, you might argue that the good thing is that uh, the power ships, the emergency power generators that are coming in, we understand that they are going to rely heavily on this gas from their tourable plant. So basically, let's pray that they come in early so that they can give this gas. Otherwise, we have to flare this gas. But, but could we have had more foresight in this, in, in that then it looks like the concentration is on Abuazi and giving gas to Abuazi. But we have plants in Tema. Don't, don't forget that mm. we should, the plants should be able to receive the natural gas. Mm. Because most of these plants were conditioned or done in a way that it was just for crude oil. We are now we even understand that some have been worked out, some, some things have been worked out for them to take steam as well. So these are plants that are as old as five years, ten years, and we didn't think that maybe going forward we can get natural gas to power these plants. So there have to be some uh, calibrations or work on these machines, and that is why there is that problem. But don't forget, as I explained earlier on, mm. the car power or the power barges or the power ships that are coming in will be relying heavily on the natural gas from our turbo. So let's pray that they do come in quick so that at least it would help the situation. Otherwise, imagine 
flaring about mm. 100 million it, it could have implications for the gas project because itself. don't forget that the ghana gas project was i mean we, we borrowed on the international market about a billion dollars for mm -hmm. this project it has been worked out in the repayment plan that it will be commissioned at this time and over this period we'll start paying for it so any delay and getting people to buy these gas would have implications on getting the money on time to service these loans. Mm, I see. Now let, let's talk about TICO and mm. Senate, mm. Uh, where we understand we uh, are adding Some about 220 mm -hmm. megawatts. And, and it makes it difficult for me to understand the issue of the gas and our inability to use all, don't, all of it. Don't forget that as a mix for some of these machines. Mm. Some are doing crude, a mixture of crude gas and steam as well. So even though they are relying on the gas, crude oil is also another avenue, another stream that they have to power these plants. We understand that over the past few days, they, be, they are generating about 220 megawatts of power. And if you could observe, some areas are having continuous supply of power because of this. Now, what we've been able to pick up from the power distribution and mm. generating firms is that the plan is that they will give the priority rather uh, to industries with respect to the improvement that they've seen over the past few days. So uh, it has contributed significantly to what we're seeing right now. And if they're able to generate more, we understand the compressor is now working, so more mm. gas will be generated. Let's look at other avenues that they can pipe these gas to the other independent power producers. And good news for us, maybe the power situation might stabilize earlier we than the August. Have some relief. We, there are proposals <laughs> that we are looking at August or July. Maybe it might happen sooner mm. uh, than we thought. Right. Thank you very much, George. George Riaf is my colleague here at Join News. We've been discussing uh, the Ghana Gas Company and its uh, its likelihood to flare gas because of uh, the inability of plants here, generating plants here to use all of the gas that it produces. <laughs>